All right. I'm going to wait for a few people to jump on board. I'm going live with you in a little bit. We're going to talk about sales. We're going to talk about sales models, all those wonderful things. It's going to be good. And so what I want to do right now is go into, I've mentioned before that I have this book called Sales Models. And the reason I like this book uh, is because, besides the fact that I wrote it, it's because I remember things in models. So I have to have models in my head. So when I'm talking to clients, it makes it easier for me to recall where I'm at in the conversation or what my objective is. So today I want to talk about a new model. I call this one the crepe model. Now this one is not in the book. So again, this one has 52 models or 50 models rather. I'll be probably updating this book and adding about, I don't know, another 50 to 20 models. And so again, these are simple ways, simple, I guess, memory tools that you can use. So let's set up a scenario. Let's say you got a software package or some type of product or service that you're trying to sell to a customer. So one of the things you want to do right away is figure out basically, you know, how is it going to help them? And so you know that when I talk about B2B, I'm always talking about the value trinity, right? The value trinity is how can you help them increase revenue? How can you help them reduce cost? And how can you help them expand market share, right? If you can help a customer with either of those three or all three, then you're going to position your product well. So what I want to do is kind of give you some objectives. How do we get here? How do we demonstrate that we can increase revenue? How do we demonstrate that we can reduce costs? And how do we demonstrate that we can actually expand market share if we can do that? So let me go ahead and just kind of erase this real quick. Just want to take this off. You guys got that, right? And what I want to introduce you to again is the crepe model. Now the crepe model is basically five ways that your product or service may be able to help your customer. Now also think about your own personal workflow, like how you do things. This is the best way of visualizing this, right? So for example, let's say that each box here represents maybe a process in your sales process, or maybe it's just each step in a workflow, something you have to get done, like cold calling, following up, uh, putting together a proposal. Let's say you have to go through seven steps to get to get put together a proposal. So then the first question you should ask yourself, and again, you've got to ask yourself this question for personal efficiency, but also when you're talking to a client, how can you help them become more efficient? Well, you ask yourself the five questions within the crate model. The first one you're going to ask yourself is, what can I combine? In other words, if this is the workflow that I personally have, I personally have, which process or steps can I combine and make one? Because what's the goal here? To accelerate my way through the process. Now think about you're talking to a customer. You're talking to a customer and guess what? You're going to say, hey, my product or service will allow you to combine these two steps, making you more efficient. So ask yourself the first question, how can my product or service help me, or help my customer rather, combine their processes? And then ask yourself how you could combine processes within your own workflow. The second one is, and I want you to think about this, this is can you replace? In other words, going back to your product, maybe you have a product that actually replaces one of the steps and makes this process go even faster. Think about buying a new software package, right? Or something personal. You buy a new software package and all of a sudden, what used to take five minutes to, let's say, convert, if you're doing, let's say, videos or something, now it takes two minutes to convert. So by buying a new piece of software, you were able to Replace this step with a new piece of software and you were able to accelerate your flow. Now, think about your customer. Can your product or service help them? Can you replace something that they're currently doing and you can make them that much faster or that much more efficient? So that's another question to ask yourself and tie it back in to the value trinity. The other things you want to make, make ask about is automate. Now, automate's important. Like, what can you automate? to make this faster. So maybe you do have, again, some type of product that allows somebody to automate these three steps. So think about it. You can now combine them through automation. Also, think about yourself. Haven't you ever bought a software package or some type of app that allows you to automate two or three steps so you don't have to repeat every single step all the time? So then ask yourself, what can my product and service do? How can I automate some of their processes with my product or service? Most likely it's going to be a product, some type of software, right? So the next one you're going to ask, and this is an interesting one, what can you run in parallel? Okay, by that I mean, what can you run at the same time? So sometimes we do things sequentially, right? 
But maybe if we learn to run things in parallel, do two things at one time, then maybe that will allow us to go faster and do more. So ask yourself the question, how does my product or service help them create a parallel process if it does? Maybe it doesn't. Well, let's go to the last one. I know this one you can figure out easily. The last one is, what can you eliminate? By that I mean, eliminate. What can you eliminate in the process? In other words, this is their workflow, this is their process. What can you eliminate? What can your product do to eliminate? Or again, if you're looking at your personal ability, what can you eliminate? In your workflow, what can you stop doing to actually become more efficient? See, this model is interesting because not only does it apply, as I've mentioned already, to how it applies to your customer, but more importantly, how do you apply to yourself? How do you make your day more efficient? See, we're overwhelmed with all these different tasks. It seems like we got more to do all the time. Am I right? It's like we got more to do, but the problem is sometimes we don't have enough time. So we have to figure out, do we need technology? That's one answer. Can we combine? Can we replace? Can we accelerate, automate? Can we do something in parallel or can we eliminate a step? So again, use this crate model to ask yourselves questions about how you can get faster, but more importantly, how can you help your customer with their value trinity? What can you do to increase revenue, reduce costs, or expand market share? How can your products, if they can do any of this, actually feed into that? And if you can do that, you're going to be more successful. Anyway, that's it. Just wanted to hang out with you a little bit on YouTube here. Hope you enjoyed the information. Leave some comments below. Let me know what you think. Take care.